What's going on guys? It's Kyle James and today we have another great one for you. Now if you clicked on this video, it's probably because one, you're about to start college and you really want to make sure you're ready to get that 4.0 or two, you're in college and you're just struggling and you want to turn the ship around and you don't even know where to start. Well, today I'm going to help you out with that. We're going to go over three main things that you could focus on and that you can do to make sure that you have the best chance to get that 4.0. Now personally, I'm not the smartest person. I didn't get the best ACT score. I didn't get in the top 10% of my class in high school. I'm not super smart naturally. These things really helped me get my act together in college, perform academically, and get that 4.0. Now real quick, technically I didn't get a 4.0. I got one A minus in my junior year. I got a 92.4 and the cutoff for an A was a 93 and he didn't round it up. So I actually got a 3.98 for um, my cumulative GPA in college. Okay. For, for this video, we're gonna say, we're gonna round it up to a four, okay? Anyway, let's get right into it. Number one is study. Now I know what you're thinking, studying really does suck. Studying is really hard and you're like, Kyle, like I can't study, like I'm sorry, like, this is not gonna work. At the end of the day, it is an absolute must. You must study to, to perform academically in college. It's just, it's just how it is. So if you really hate studying, this is your time to get more comfortable with it. And the reason why I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with studying is because they don't know how they learn and how they study best. I actually struggled with this for a while. Um, I didn't really know the best way for me to learn and to study. I finally learned after trial and error that me personally, I learn best in 40 to 45 minute time blocks in complete silence with the physical textbook um, and me reading and writing down notes in pencil. This is really a sign for you to take some time and find out how do you learn the best? How do you study the best? And maybe you already know this and you're like, oh, I already know this, but maybe you don't. Um, and this is your sign that you need to really put some focus on finding out the best way. Two is another simple one, I know, but it's go to class. This will help you meet a lot of people your age, a lot of your classmates and friends you can make. Not only will they help you be your homework buddies and help you like juggle deadlines, but there'll also be people you can study with and maybe even hang out outside of class. You need to meet the professor. Like it shocked me. This is one of the biggest shocks of my whole college like tenure was seeing how many people didn't even ever shake the hand of the professor. They never even met the professor. I highly recommend at least after the first class to go up, shake the professor's hand and meet them face to face and introduce yourself. This establishes some sort of connection with you and the professor. Not only will they remember your name and your face, but now they're more likely to want to help you to do better in the class. Now, depending on what your major is, I got a bachelor's in finance, um, a lot of these professors will have industry experience and a lot of it. So yes, it'll help you academically um, at the moment in college, but it can also help you professionally and actually help you get a job after college. One professor even had a friend who was um, an executive at a firm and wanted me to interview for one of their analyst roles. At this moment in time, I had actually already secured a job after college and so I had to you know, turn it down. But if I didn't secure a job after college, I would have been very quick to say yes and jump on the opportunity. So never ever overlook the value of meeting your professor. Last one and number three is time management and planning. You're gonna wanna plan all of your major deadlines, your exams, your homeworks, so that you don't miss them and they don't kind of sneak up on you. Personally, when I first got to college, I purchased this big like whiteboard. There's one up here you can kind of see, but it was much bigger than that and it was kind of a calendar. And every single two to four weeks, I would put all of my major deadlines, exams, homeworks. I could make sure that I didn't, you know, miss miss anything. And there were still times when I almost missed a homework or a deadline just because life happens. And so having kind of a board or kind of having a, a digital calendar, or even like a calendar and a notebook to make sure you're on top of things is super important. Also, I think time management and planning with your academics really bleeds into your personal life in college. Now, college isn't all about um, getting good grades. College is one of those times that you grow the most as a person and as an individual. So time management helps you kind of portion out your schoolwork, then have time for fun and for friends. You're gonna to wanna to have fun in college. You're gonna to wanna to go hang out with your friends, go, go to parties if you're into that sort of thing, and just maybe you know dive more into your hobby. Trust me, it is possible to balance these things. It was a lot of work and I uh, held, a, held a part time job, um, took full time college classes, and still had some sort of social life. Now, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Three main things we went over was one, studying, two, go to class, and three, time management and planning. Hope these three main things help you um, do better in college academically. Thanks again, y'all, for watching the video. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.